Okay, <clears throat> so this sauteed for a few minutes. We had some special guest. Um, you can season this with whatever you want. If you want to put bay leaf in it, just put one leaf in there. Don't crush it. Um, if you want seasoning salt, if you want Worcestershire sauce, whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, I put a little Cajun, like I said, but you see how the, the sausage is starting to get some color to it. Um, your peppers and onions should get a little color as well. And the way we're going to do the shrimp is a little different from what you're thinking, uh, most people. Um, you don't, I want to keep the shrimp in there whole. I want everything small so it's, it fits on a spoon. So what I want to do, we're going to add the raw shrimp to this. And we're basically just going to kind of saute them in with this. Okay, put them in, just let them cook. Because um, what we're actually going to do is cook these in there, take them out, and then dice them um, and add them back later. Because if you let them cook the entire time the rice cooks, they'll end up being kind of chewy. Um, sometimes it might not, but I really don't want to risk it because I like shrimp. This one's not done as yet, but just, I flipped it so you guys can see the color. Um, kind of get it down in there. You can mix these around a little bit. Just make sure they cook through. But this is when they start to cook. See how they're starting to curl and turn pink? That's when your shrimp are done. This one over here, see how it's kind of transparent right there, translucent? That's not done yet. But these only take maybe three minutes, not long. And the fact you're gonna add it back to something hot, so it's gonna cook again. So there you go. Let them take in that flavor. You got the nice little curl going there, like a knuckle. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna take these, put them on our cutting board. And by this time you should have washed your cutting board because it was the day before. All right, let those rest. This is gonna cook. Let's go ahead and start. Let's add our tomatoes back to it. Add your broth. Now you're gonna bring this up to a simmer. You're gonna turn that down, okay? You don't want to overcook this or cook it, reduce it too much because you need enough liquid to cook this rice. This rice, typically rice is a two to one ratio. This is not two to one. This is a lot more liquid than rice, but we're going to go ahead and stir this in because we just want to slowly cook this so it's not a full rice dish. It's not going to be just thick rice with no sauce left. This is going to be kind of liquidy. All right. Once you see this come back up, get your rice stirred in. And that's the good thing with parboiled rice is you don't have to worry about it overcooking or undercooking um, in this kind of dish because it's partially cooked. So as you see, we've used our mise. Let's go ahead and stack these. The only thing left is our garnish and our shrimp that we're gonna cut. All right, this is gonna come back up. See how it's starting to simmer a little bit? Okay, that's what you want. Now, at this point, go ahead put a lid on this and then set your timer well that doesn't work um, set your timer you can just do it on your phone we're gonna look at my watch it's uh, exactly 11 o'clock we're gonna let that cook for 12 minutes meanwhile let's just go ahead cut up the shrimp and just cut them into just smaller pieces you want these to fit on the spoon okay those rest and then uh, we'll check on the rice in about 10 minutes.